Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in the love and grace and joy that we receive through our God. Breathe out whatever stress, whatever anxiety, whatever you might be hanging on to right now. Breathe in. Breathe out. As we come together for these evening prayer services, we'll be using Mary D. Fink's Stretch and Pray. And so I hope you'll join us. You can do these poses standing, sitting in a chair, or even sitting on the floor, wherever you are most comfortable. But take just a moment to prepare yourself for this time of prayer. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. Take this time for you, for your relationship with God, for some time of peace in the midst of whatever you might be going through right now. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. As we come together this Wednesday evening, maybe we are dealing with the busyness of working from home, parenting full time at home, of the boredom of not being able to leave our houses. Maybe we're dealing with the isolation of being alone. Whatever it is that you are bringing to this prayer time today, it's okay. It's real. And God is there with you in it. You are not alone. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. We'll begin with our first pose of the evening. This pose is called adoration. This posture, if you're sitting on the floor, is very similar to child's pose. If you know it from yoga, it's a totally appropriate pose for a prayer of adoration. If you're sitting in a chair, I invite you to put your feet flat on the floor beneath you. Feel the ground. Feel the firm foundation that you have below you. If you are kneeling on the floor, I invite you to have your legs totally touching on the floor in, in a kneeling position. If you are standing, still feel that firm foundation. While taking in a deep breath, raise your arms above your head. As you exhale, lower your face slowly towards the floor or towards your lap, folding forward from your hips. Stretch your arms out in front of you. You can place your hands letting them fall towards your ankles or onto the floor or onto the table in front of you if you're like me. Offer the prayer of an adoring child, glorifying and offering thanksgiving to God. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. From Psalm 18, I love you, O Lord, my strength. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. We lift up prayers of thanksgiving for 
negative test results, for those recovering from illnesses, for those who are giving of their time and energy as essential workers. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for moments of joy in the midst of this time. We give you thanks for sunlight peering through clouds. We give you thanks for our families, for our friends, for all of the ways in which we connect right now. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. Our next pose is called confession. I invite you to take in one more deep breath in. Raise up your head slightly and bring your hands behind you, clasping your fingers together. As you exhale, lower your face towards the floor or to your knees and assume a posture that wraps you in a tight, bundled position. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. In this bound up position, remember that we are in bondage to our human brokenness and sinful nature. Offer to our God of grace anything that separates you from God and from one another, asking for forgiveness and freedom from the brokenness of our human nature. Exhale as you let go of all that you confess. In 1 John chapter 1, John says, If we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. From the pose of confession, exhale as you release your hands from the bonded position. Raise the upper half of your body so that you are sitting on your heels with your toes turned under. And if you're sitting in your chair, I just invite you to turn your toes underneath you. Inhale and stretch your arms and hands upward and over your head as far as feels comfortable. Reach upward to touch the fingertips of a gracious God who reaches out with love, compassion, and absolution. Reach out to the God who is always reaching for you with love and hope and grace. You can reach the crown of your head as well as you reach up. Think of yourself as getting taller as you stand or sit. Breathe while holding this position just for a moment. Enjoying the cleansing of the one who promises to remember our sin no more. From Psalm 32. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Breathe in deeply. As you exhale, keeping your arms straight, slowly lower them on the way down. Experience the grace and love of God showering over you. Bring your hands together onto your lap and bow your head. Bask in the joy of forgiveness. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. From the pose of absolution, Still sitting with your toes underneath you, I invite you to raise your head as we move into the position of petition. Place your right hand on your left shoulder and cross your left hand over your right shoulder. 
with arms folded and cross-shaped over your heart, offer prayers of personal petition for the needs you have in your own heart. Pray for wisdom and discernment in the choices you will make this week. Pray for courage in your faith walk and witness. Pray for well-chosen words and a heart filled with grace and love for God and one another. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. From Daniel chapter six, Daniel continued to go to his house and to get down on his knees three times a day to pray to his God and praise him. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. From the pose of petition, change your position so that you're sitting with either your legs in the crisscross position or one leg crossed over another. You can lower your hands so you can cup them together at your knees or if you're sitting cross-legged crisscross applesauce, you can hold your hands over your heels. Pull your legs in close to you. During this position, we pray the prayers of intercession for others, for family members, for friends, for leaders in our community, for co-workers, and for all those for whom we pray. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. This evening as a church, we pray for all first line workers, for Russ, who's a firefighter and EMT, for Carrie and Tim, for the sons and daughters and daughters-in-laws and grandchildren who are working in hospital work, hospitals and healthcare, for Eric and Angie and Denise and Krista and Ardeth and Rick's daughter-in-law and for Norma's daughter. We pray for all who are working in grocery stores, in delivery services, in law enforcement, in all of these places where they are deemed essential. Lord, we lift up this essential work and those who do it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Donna Zimmerman, who's in the hospital at St. John's, and for her husband, Bill, and family as they await next steps and next treatments. We pray for Glenn Milheiser's friend, Brian, recovering from an acute subdermal hematoma, for Bob Price's older brother, Richard Price, who died just a few weeks ago. We pray for his wife, Linda, and their family. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for Krista Croy, for Beth Milheiser's granddaughter, for Judy, for Lanny, for the Mueller family, the Taco family, for Ruth Sealer, for Ray Davenport, for the Custer family, for Alicia Gates and Sharon Ann, for the Reese family, for Barb Clausen and Amy Thibodeau, and for the Yaki family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. At this time, I invite you, our congregation gathered by the Spirit, gathered virtually, for what do the people of God pray for this evening? If you're joining us on Facebook or YouTube, we invite you to comment your prayer requests on the video below. If you would prefer, you can say your prayers out loud or silently to yourself. 
know that God hears them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all who are dealing with anxiety and isolation, boredom, or struggling financially, physically, or emotionally during this time. We pray that your presence may wrap around them, that solutions will come, that connection will appear and that your peace will pour out over those who are in need of it right now. We pray for all priests, pastors, rabbis, imams, and other religious leaders as they try to guide their people through this time. We pray for our governmental leaders, for wisdom, for guidance, as we look to them for next steps in this time. We give you thanks, God, for sun and warmth and the new life of spring. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. From 1 Timothy chapter 2, First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for everyone. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. From the pose of intercession, change your position slightly by crossing your other legs. So if you're sitting crisscross applesauce, that's change which leg is on top. If you're sitting in a chair like me, that's just changing where your legs might be crossed either at the knee or at the ankle. As you are comfortable, find a space here. Sit up tall with your back straight. Place your hands on your knees, open palmed in a receiving position. You can also, if you prefer, put your palms together in a prayer position in front of your heart. Draw in a deep breath and hold it. Slowly exhale. Repeat this breathing pattern throughout this time of prayer. This universal posture of contemplation invites us as the person of prayer to receive rather than to offer. It is a time of listening rather than asking or speaking. Listen to the inner voice of God and the leading of the spirit. Relax in this position and rest in the presence of God. Breathe slowly, intentionally. Listen carefully. From Psalm 46, be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. Richard Rohr had a lovely meditation for this verse. He says, begin 
by listening to the words, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Take in a final deep breath. And as you exhale, let your body relax into whatever position is comfortable for you. Lord, we lift all our prayers up to you praying with our hearts, our minds, and our whole bodies, with these bodies, God, that you love, that you adore, that you made and gave to us. Lord, we give you thanks for all of the ways that you speak to us and through us, through our bodies, through our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our stretch and pray this evening. We'll be back again next Wednesday and we'll have our Sunday worship online at 930 this coming Sunday. I hope you will join us as well. And if you are on our Zoom call, I invite you to stay on for a little bit of fellowship and some time together. If there are any prayer requests that you would like to make sure we include during our prayer time, either on Wednesday nights or on Sundays, please comment them on the Facebook page, send them to me via email, or let us know through our prayer chain. The Lord be with you, bless you, and keep you, and fill you with God's presence. Amen. And also with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Pam. You know, I couldn't mute you, so I'm really glad that you're there. <laughs> well, I just got on. I just did. Oh, it's good. It's good. I was making.